he raised the price of a drug needed to save thousands of lives from $13.50 to $750 and became the most hated man in America. What do you say to that signal pregnant woman who might have AIDS, no income, she needs Daraprim in order to survive. What, what do you say to her when... He thought he could get away with it because he's a prestigious investor. Yeah, I am evil. You know, let me, let me be the bad guy. However, karma would give him a high dose of his own medicine. On the advice of counsel, I invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and respectfully decline to answer your question. Do you think you've done anything wrong? On the advice of counsel, I invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and respectfully decline to answer your question. Martin Shkreli was a well-known financier in the pharmaceutical industry who made the miserable decision to stratospherically increase the price of the drug Daraprim. Now, you guys have said that the reason you increased this price so much after acquiring the drug was in order to do the research and development to develop a better version of Daraprim. I just got off the phone with an HIV doctor who told me they don't need a better version of this drug. What are you doing here? The terrible thing was that the increase wasn't going to be gradual and there wasn't going to be any help for people to be able to buy it. Overnight, Daraprim went from costing $13.50 to $750, registering a 4,000% increase. It didn't have an explanation that sounded good enough, and even when asked about it, he would come up with some financial excuse for doing it. What a lot of companies do is raise venture capital funding when they see an important market for a drug, uh, rather than raising the price on the current patients who need it to survive and who have no other choice but to take it and pay the higher price. Why wouldn't you go that route? Well, we did raise uh, one of the largest Series A financings in history for a biotech company. We uh, raised uh, over $90 million. And uh, we also feel that this is the more appropriate price for Daraprim. Uh, at this price, Daraprim is still actually on the low end of what orphan drugs cost. And we're certainly not the first company to raise drug prices. Every time he was asked, he always had an excuse to confirm that the increase made perfect sense for patients. It wasn't just a way for his company to make money. But of course, that was really hard to believe when you consider that the increase had been so astronomical that access had clearly been severely restricted everyone was already starting to hate Martin Shkreli. Martin, I gotta ask you, doctors have come out saying that you guys need to revise your pricing strategy because patients can't get access to these drugs. This HIV doc I just spoke with said they're trying to hoard it in order to provide it. Do you feel badly about what's happening? No, in fact, we're increasing access to patients, Mag. I think that, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, dramatically increasing the access to Daraprim. Uh, lowering co-pays, giving more drug away for free. Half of the drug we give away is for $1. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. You know, Martin, when you bought the company, this was a $1 pill before Core Labs bought it, then it went to $13.50, now you bought it, now it goes to over $700. Would you have bought, when you bought this company, did you buy it because you knew that you could raise the price? We definitely planned on raising the price, that's for sure. We paid uh, a very, very large amount to buy an unprofitable medicine. We can't continue to make, uh, to lose money uh, on the drug at that price, so we, we took it to a price where we can make a comfortable profit, but not any kind of ridiculous profit. They're much but you're, larger. But you're... Shkreli was a trending topic everywhere. Little by little, he started to reveal who he really was. When Hillary Clinton talked about him in a debate to criticize him, he posted on Facebook that he was going to offer $5,000 to whoever would come up with a lock of the former candidate's hair. That would be enough to bring him to justice because the intelligence agencies considered him a danger. However, that wasn't the only thing. And after being criticized by renowned rapper Ghostface Killa, you don't, you don't, you don't take some AIDS, an uh, AIDS pill that you had for, I guess, what, $7? Yeah. And it didn't make it like $800. Yeah, that's what you did. You know what I mean? You don't do that like that. I don't care if you brought the Wu-Tang, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But on that note, that's why, you know, he, you know, You don't like that, crazy. you don't like Martin I don't even though. know him. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But when I heard what he did, with yeah. the AIDS, with the AIDS like that, Medication. that's not right, it's not right. $7 to like $800 yeah, that's like a cool. pill? Martin Shkreli released a video threatening the legendary artist along with some masked gangsters. Dennis, I'm gonna call you by your government name. You're not a ghost face killer, I'm sorry. In fact, um, you know, most people don't ever try to be for them. Do you know what? What do you guys think? They ain't stupid like that. Nobody's that dumb. Every one of my enemies, they try to stay anonymous, they try to stay out. Because, you know, it, it 
it's just one of these things where, for whatever reason, you think it's okay to be for me. But that's a big mistake. Um, you know, at the end of the day, um, I'm very sorry for you. You're an old man. You're an old man that's lost his relevance, and you're trying to reclaim the spotlight from my spotlight. That's not going to work, Ghost. Dennis. In fact, I think that uh, if you ever say some dumb shit again, this album, this Shaolin, I'm going to erase all your shit from this album. Right you here, understand? my right here. I'm going to erase you from the record books of rap. You're going to be done. You're my son. You have to listen to me. I butter your bread, you understand me? You be a ghost for real, motherfucker. Without you, without me, you're nothing. And so even though I pity you, I have to give you some punishment. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm not gonna let this slide. I expect you to write me a written apology from the heart. However, of course, this character that Martin had created, together with the huge controversy that he starred in, ended up blowing up brutally in his face. He would quickly be sought and indicted by the courts for various charges related to fraud and also for conspiracy to raise the price of Daraprim. There were a total of eight charges against him, but he would end up being convicted on only three. As to the three, as Mark said, we have some work to do. I think that uh, the, the jury's found and, and it's, it's in the record clearly that there were no losses at all with respect to counts uh, three and six, which gratifies me personally. This was a witch hunt of, of epic proportions and maybe they found one or two broomsticks, but at the end of the day, uh, we've been uh, acquitted of the most important charges in this case and I'm delighted to, to report that. The truth is that Shkreli would eventually be sentenced to seven years in prison, plus a fine of $7.4 million and compensation to his victims of $64.6 million. In 2022, he will finally be released from prison.